The first question is I always get is do I have to come off steroids to impregnate my girl? No, no you don't. That's a myth. That's so stupid. That makes conceiving a child 10 times harder. Don't come completely off gear. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Friday everyone. ASMR sip going down of the cream soda Zevia. Ending phone calls because I am recording. So today's video is going to be on fertility and PEDs and basically a fertility protocol. So I am responsible for bringing two children into this world through my fertility protocols and I've helped a lot of people weigh in on their fertility issues and everything over the years and you can always DM me on Instagram at Lifts. and if you're new here, smash the thumbs up button to help this channel get out of the shadow ban, subscribe, click all, and yeah, browse the rest of my educational content as well as bullshit clout grab content. Going into it, basically people always make the myth up of like, which is, there, there's some truth, but it's very, 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 you know, low percentage of like, oh, if you do steroids, you're infertile forever, false. The situation you see that play out in is that people don't have education of fertility drugs to use a long cycle. So you got your fertility medications, you got ATG, HMG, gonorrhea, clomiphene and clomiphene right these are all compounds that you can use on cycle which will help maintain fertility right you're sending signaling to the balls when they will not be receiving signaling because you're shutting off your hbta your hormonal axis when you add in exogenous androgens now that's fine when you do it for like one or two cycles but normally this problem arises when you have these guys blast shit indefinitely for you know three to seven eight nine ten years straight and their nuts turn into raisins basically non-existent no spermogenesis going Going on and you run into the issue of oh they're grown up they want a family they found a girl they thought they would never have kids juice until I die go hard until I die and now you know the superiority complex is over and they're they're men now and they want kids and they want you know their fertility back that is what makes it extremely problematic to recover a man who has abused PEDs in that way you prevent before it arises harm mitigation, you're mitigating it before it happens. So if these said individuals did HCG every month on cycle, did HMG every month on cycle, did clomiphene every month on cycle, did gonorrhellin every month on cycle, did enclomiphene every month on cycle, they still would have had signaling to their balls the whole time, there still would have been spermogenesis going on, the balls would have maintained normal size, they wouldn't have went down the road of, you know, stage one hypogonadism all the way to stage three, which is when, you know, you're balls basically don't exist so right off the bat how to maintain fertility on cycle just include some of those compounds check my pinned comment the source list below there's really no excuse for not maintaining your fertility if you're gonna do enhanced bodybuilding right you should have the allocated funds to do it right if you can't afford to do it right don't do it you know save up work harder to a point where you know the enhanced biohacking isn't eating into your budget right you cannot be skimping out on running hcg hmg gonorrhellin if you're gonna cruise on exogenous androgens for long periods of time even if you're like oh i never want kids russo that might change and if it doesn't change don't you want to keep your testicles a normal size don't you want to not face you know the recovery issues of being stage three hypogonadal wouldn't you rather be stage one hypogonadal you know something that's easier to recover from that, that that's right off the bat right we can prevent it before it arises with most people and obviously there is is this outlier you know group of people that when they do steroids their sperm count goes to zero how high is that extremely low right in my opinion everyone has swimmers if they do run these compounds and i'm gonna use the example of boston lloyd 
So Boston Lloyd, if you don't know Boston Lloyd, he's an OG in the game and rest in peace Boston, but he is the epitome of, he abused everything. He was a walking pin cushion. He'd fill up four 3cc syringes and just shoot them every day. I don't know, even know like fucking grams and grams and grams and grams of steroids. And he conceived a son just fine. What did he do? A fertility protocol. Here's a caveat, and if you want professional medical help conceiving a child, I got you. Elevate Alternative, there's the plug. This is my TRT company. We will assist you and walk you through the exact fertility protocol with the exact dosages you need. Professional medical assistance, not you know, bullshit Russo on the internet. A licensed physician will walk you through conceiving a child if you're on exogenous androgens. Please click the link below. Check out elevatealternative.com. Fill out a contact request to start. The first consult is absolutely free. You can walk away, no money taken, and just get free medical advice from a licensed professional, not dumbass Russo. Anyways, back to, you know, the caveats with fertility on TRT. The first question is I always get is do I have to come off stairs? steroids to impregnate my girl. No, no you don't. That's a myth. That's so stupid. That makes conceiving a child 10 times harder. Don't come completely off gear. How is your dick gonna get hard? How are you gonna come? So people think that, right? If you're blasting shit, lower it to 250 and below, like, you know, a normal amount. Like, if you would go and get your blood work done, you would want your exogenous testosterone you're adding in to be in the reference ranges, meaning you'd want it to read a thousand or below. So you have the best chance for spermogenesis. Then you would add an HCG, HMG and clomiphene, and that would jack up your sperm count. Obviously, if the swimmers are all dead, which in my opinion, if you're doing all that signaling, you're still gonna have some swimmers in there. But obviously, if you're still having issues, then we need to get your sperm looked at under a microscope, which you do not have to go to a doctor to see how many swimmers you have. Literally, go to Walmart and get one of those bullshit science fucking micro Microscopes. I'll have Andrew throw up a picture and literally just come on one of those things and put it under a microscope and you can see how many swimmers there are. You don't have to go all the way through the Western medicine hoops unless you're having extreme issues, right? I've actually checked to see if I still have swimmers under a microscope at my parents' house because I was under the impression that I was never going to be able to impregnate anyone in my life from my SARMs abuse and I still had swimmers. This is before, you know, this has gone out there that the these fertility protocols really work. So after you didn't get off steroids and then you went on to everything under the sun, all the fertility medications. And like I said, if you want the dosage schemes on that, just contact Elevate. I'm gonna keep this video PG so it don't get deleted on YouTube. Or you can message me on Instagram at Russo Lifts and I'll give you the dosages for free behind closed doors. But you'd be good to impregnate your woman. I guarantee, you know, there's probably a 90 to 95% success rate with that protocol of adding in all those compounds. I see the biggest mistakes is that dudes are under the impression that they have to get completely off, they have to clean out, and they have to like try and get their sperm count back completely naturally, and they gotta do all this. No, no, you don't gotta do that, and that's like where they, they fail and they can impregnate their woman, because if you've been relying on exogenous androgens and high dosages for a long time, you've desensitized your body to your natural Natural testosterone. How long it takes for your body to resensitize? You know, we could go into a debate on resensitizing your AR if the fucking connection between your brain and your testicles fully reforms again. Like, that's a whole tangent I can rant about forever. What I'm saying is stay on HRT dosage. So just maintain normal libido function, add in all the fertility medications, knock up your girl, and then you can go back to blasting if you want to, right? Obviously, if you're gonna be a father, I hope you would, you know, have your health and biomarkers in check and look to raise the child and not continue down the road of, you know, cruising on trend forever if you're having extreme fertility issues. Like, I think a lot of people th are under the impression also that, like, when they're on steroids, they're completely infertile. Bullshit. Bullshit. If you're on a lot of testosterone, you can still knock up a girl. I've even seen dudes in the DM box that DM me that knocked up their girl on trend. OK, 
okay? You're still making sperm. There's still spermogenesis going on if your nuts are a normal size. Now, can you shut it off? Can you fuck up your fertility? Absolutely. If you don't want to harm mitigate it the entire time and you have no idea and you're just doing shit blindly, it could happen. But the chances of you bouncing back and being able to impregnate a woman are very high. Boston Lloyd's the greatest example. You think out of all the people who ever walked this earth, Boston Lloyd would not be able to conceive a son that's perfectly healthy. There's a picture with Ariella. Keep that into consideration. I hope you guys learned something. Please comment your fertility protocols down below or, you know, how it went when you conceived a child on testosterone. I will see you guys in my next video.